What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and you already know it's Saturday, so you know all nerdcore music and mainstream music wise. Shit, some that dropped from even Thursday and such. Yo, you already know I'm finna come back on. You know I'm finna be on it like that. But what way to start it off with a little tribute to Akira Toriyama? Rest in peace to him. Then with Fable with her Goku song Save the World featuring Jono. Now, to my now, if I'm not mistaken, y'all can correct me down in the comments below. But he did say about how he made his first Goku song was from like three years ago. I could be wrong. But hey, either way, if I'm not did has Fable and Jono worked before? Like be on a song together? I don't think he has. I don't think Jono's been on a Fable song yet. I would have to look back on it and such. Even in my reactions or in other songs and such, cause I'm pretty sure by my knowledge right now that he hasn't. But regardless, whether he has or he hasn't, we gonna experience it. And like we said, and like I said, rest in peace to Tor Akira Toriyama, cause in the description where he where he writes up, Goku is a character that has inspired has inspired all of us. And with Akira Toriyama's passing, I wanted to revisit the Dragon Ball saga and make this a song as a tribute to how much Dragon Ball has impacted my life. And not just Fable, like everybody's life. Big shout out to Jono for killing the bridge on this and my partner in crime, Gio. Yeah, cause you already know with him, he's gonna make this visual go crazy. So, we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. Thank you. Shout out Sweet Water. Let's get it. Hold up a second, just within the. Hold on, I'm pulling. I'm making sure we're we going back, cause this nigga Fable just came in just off the gate, with saying I saved the world, and in a way, without Toriyama, and in a way you can say Toriyama in a way to save the world and such, cause let's face it, in a way with the whole thing with the. Japanese thing and so too. this is just me and look if y'all think I'm saying complete nonsense it is what it is but let's face it if it wasn't for Akira Toriyama coming up with most like most obvious choice Dragon Ball right none of the US none of any media none of anybody who was going throughout something in their life whether it be black white whatever none of us wouldn't got to know about anime if it wasn't for Dragon Ball and most likely Toriyama cuz let's be honest I mean hell you got wrestle you got some of your favorite WWE wrestlers saying about it you got some of your nerdcore artists saying about it your favorite reactors like myself and such saying about it like bro so just with that particular line right there just with that opening saying I saved the world hey you can say that not only Goku in his realm where he was saving his world, but Toriyama in this, in the way of how the real world and such, hey, he did in a way. So, just that opening where it's just, first of all, that guitar. Even if I'm 
that's such a crazy thing with that's such a crazy line where <laughs> father to the scene y'all my bait y'all my babies but even though sometimes this nigga goku be a look it is what it is. Let me just show up. Because we already know the stigma of where they're going to say about how Goku abandoned his son and all that. So, let me just... For the sake of for the sake of those jokes, let's put those to a side and focus on this being a tribute to Akira. So, let's take this out of Hold up, I heard growling. Hold up. First of all, that first of all, let me give credits to who was involved in this and such. Hold on. Let me give credits to who was involved in this craziness and such. So obviously but first the song credits. Shout out to Divide, Fable, and Lee Albridge, because he's on the production as well. And the mastering by Fable and Divide. Hey. And I'm guess and look, there's adding background vocals by a lady called Madame Minette. Minette. Hopefully, I said the name right. But hold up, I hear some growling. What you about to do, Fable? Why I hear growling? Why I heard a little growling such? What you about to do? What you about to do with that crowning table? Gonna be a breakdown. I already know it. If you wanna fight that, I'll pay you that I told you there was gonna be a breakdown, cause the minute you just only heard just the guitars coming in, you know it's gonna be going crazy. Hold up a second. Listen to the guitar. You see the guitar? And then the silence. <laughs> Nigga, y'all see me try to pause the damn thing. What the f I ain't trying to I ain't trying to break my laptop that I just got from over a month for my new laptop that I got in search. But what do y'all expect whenever I see some hear some fire shit? Especially from the nerdcore scene, hold the fuck up, what this nigga just did? This has to be John O and such. That thing fine. Bro, how you gonna come with a angelic that has to be like the little background vocals and such that where it said Nah, oh shit, I'm a, 
I think I almost cracked up. I ain't trying to crack this bitch. <laughs> Hold on. Run that. Run that bitch back. Nah, nigga. Ooh, I'm getting good. Nah, nigga. If y'all, if y'all can see it and such, I feel like the rock where he. Anytime when he gets them goosebumps, where you gotta go like, and all that and shit. Nah, cause the way how that like little part right there was just only you hearing the drums and such, nigga. And it ain't even because my in my room it's a little bit cold, nah nigga. It's because of this shit. Fuck you me. Nah, Fable. You really did come back to a classic. Hey, and I guarantee you. If y'all need to tell me there ain't some Goku. If y'all need to tell me that Dragon Ball wasn't the first anime that y'all watch and it helped you through a lot of things, you lying. Cause think about it like this. Why is it that when nobody who when people who never even heard of anime or watched anime the first character that they can like know about and such is Goku cuz nigga he is that but he is he is that well motivational and just inspirational and such cuz nigga ain't nobody gonna tell me he's not that fuck you mean and just by that breakdown right there that just sums it all up in one how about Goku Life for this and all of us in well. Like I did. You didn't have to go all out on that. <laughs> you didn't have to go like that. Well, shit. You had to, Fable. But, hey, just to give credit again, shout out to Fable, of course. Divide on the mixing and mastering. The production by Lee Albrecht. The AMV, of course, by g -Up. And the backing vote, backing... Oh, John, of course, on the bridge, you can say. But as the feature and whatnot. And the backing vocals by Madam Min Madam Minute. Hopefully, I'm saying your name right and such, because I guarantee you, them vo them little backing vocals with the divine part and such that has to be her. Had to be. But either way, man, like we said again, we always gonna keep it because it's 2024. It's the year of the dragon. So hey, you already know. Ain't it such a coincidence? That when Akira passes and such, and that when we get to realize what the, cause, the, cause the crazy thing is, I would never in a minute. That would be such a crazy coincidence, cause you know what the Japanese culture. Anytime when there's a year that goes by and such, a new year comes out and such, it's always the year of a certain animal or whatnot or creature or whatnot. And crazy that 2024 with Akira Toriyama passing and such, where we know that. The 2024 is the year of the dragon. So it's crazy that that's such a great, crazy coincidence. But either way, 
Rest in peace to Kira Toriyama. You will be missed, but you will never be forgotten. But it's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. Shout out to Fabo, shout out to John Allen, shout out to everybody else who was involved in it. Like I said, stay positive, keep the vibes up, and hey, we, I'm on the road to, we on the road. Let me not say I am. We are on the road to 2.5K. So hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.